local story so far. We had breakfast at Australian Dairy Company. It was very yummy. We had macaroni with ham in soup. And he scrambled eggs with toast. Oh. <laughs> then I went to Signal Hill to do some Pokemon hunting. Where there is this nice little old brick tower. After that, I went to Victoria Harbour to have the view of the Hong Kong Island city line. And then you see a lot of boats. Had some soft serve ice cream. And then my favorite Taichung Bakery egg tart. The top two is the egg tart. It is just so yummy. Yummy delicious. And a hot one is like smelling drugs. <laughs> And then, now we are going to have a look at the Hong Kong Island city at night with the lights on. Let's get to it and maybe we'll see a light show too. A symphony of lights? Question mark, question mark. Okay, here is the Hong Kong night skyline. You can see some animation of people walking and then beside it, some Christmas decorations on the building and lots of uh, building names and advertisement of uh, brands I guess and in the middle there you see this Hong Kong X uh, Convention Center Star Ferry and more Christmas decorations on the two buildings a bit of blinking ones and then some moving lights and then that's the uh, HSBC Tower all the triangle lines okay, and then that is the uh, Hong Kong observation circle I guess anyway this is the star ferry again going in front of the backdrop of the Hong Kong city center looks quite nice isn't it and then the rest after that is all just lights Okay. Look, the lights are now moving a bit. I guess it may be starting soon. I don't know. Okay, so basically there is uh, this thing called the Symphony of Lights. Uh, it's daily 8 p.m. And then there are some like a light show from Hong Kong Island. You can actually see it from this part of the island, this part here, which is uh, at Tim Sha Tui, Tim. Sha Street, okay, and um, basically you just have a look of the there will be a light show, and then on this side of the island there's actually uh, music that you can actually hear that is actually timed together with the light show. Okay, so basically it is said that there are around forty buildings that are involved in this. Uh, light show let's have a look at it okay uh, honestly for me I think that there were 40 buildings that were involved in the light show and now it's only this little portion here, a few buildings in this portion here and then uh, some laser lights from the other buildings but majority of the lights are, I think, <laughs> not working or they, are, they do not uh, participate in the light show anymore. So it is a bit uh, underwhelming. But the portion that has the light show looks quite okay. okay? The others are just having like, like the commercial center there. They just have continuously lights going around across it but other than that 
doesn't do doesn't sing into the music. So the only part that will have, yeah, you see you saw that. Okay, I'll just keep quiet and I just have a look at the uh, black show, which is just at this portion here. As you can see, there's some a bit of animation on some of the lights on the building. I think there's also some dolphins, you know, some things running. And then in the foreground, you can see star ferry going across and also to note behind this is actually Victoria Peak if you were to take the tram up there you'll be up there looking down from the other side I think you can see some of the laser lights now and then also the uh, junk tourist boat that is slowly uh, sailing across Victoria Harbour and then this is just a view of people watching the light show no who's and us just a lot of handphones a lot of cameras just taking lots of photos and videos. And after that, we will just walk around uh, Tim Sa Zui and we found this shop that sells snacks. And this is one of the popular snacks. This is a uh, curry fish balls. You have it on a stick or in a cup. And this is just one of the many uh, shops that make their living selling this. This Waki snacks. They also sell uh, fried uh, intestines, other different types of fish balls in sticks. The you know, and even from young to old, both everyone will eat it. And this is where we had our dinner at Mingyan Konji and Noodle Restaurant. Okay, we had decided to have some porridge or konji. My one is the uh, lychee boat style. Uh, porridge, whereas the other one is the century egg uh, with um, mincemeat porridge. So basically, mine is an assortment of squid, fish, peanuts, uh, meat, and with a mystery powder on it <laughs> with some chives. Okay, so this is my porridge. If you are in Hong Kong, try this. This is actually quite nice. It's a, like a fresh seafood. Uh, porridge if you don't mind squid one thing about Hong Kong is that the rental for the first ground floor is actually very high so a lot of businesses actually has grown vertically up so when you are in Hong Kong look up because there could be like restaurants and bars and places of interest of like, closed stuff on the higher floors 
So like this building itself, as you can see, there are restaurants all the way up to maybe the eight or nine or ten floor, you know. So don't just look on the ground floor. There's more things up. This is another example of a building where if you look up, look at that. There's actually multiple restaurants stacked on top of each other. Let me get down here. Okay, uh, there's actually a stairs here that to get down to go to Nutsford Lane. Basically, it's a lane between uh, the back lane between buildings. Okay, and then people actually use build change this lane into all bars. Okay, like this building here, just the one you saw just now. We need to take a lift to go up to the restaurants, and along this lane itself, the ground floor itself is all bars. You know, and pubs. People will come here. It's a very popular place for the locals to come. There are a lot of locals here, as you can see. They come here to have a drink, to meet up with people, you know, meet up with friends, you know, meet people, drink beer, you know, enjoy themselves, especially in the nice cool weather that it is now in Hong Kong. And then there's also some heaters when it gets too cold to turn on the heaters. So we have a very nice environment. Just it's just an alley, and back alley between uh, buildings. And there's also another entrance here to another place where you can go up for restaurants and bars. So this is a uh, Nutford Lane. It's in Sim Sim Cha Chui, TST. And this is another pub itself. It's on the other side of the road. Looks quite nice for you to come and have a drink. So if you do come to Hong Kong, this is another place that you can come. But it's a bit crowded. So be prepared for that. Anyway, I hope you like what you saw. Please like, share and subscribe as per usual. And you know what to do. It's not over yet. There's still day 5 to go for my Hong Kong trip. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you join and subscribe and bye-bye.